Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, a few weeks back, I made this video, uh, how to become an agentic AI red teamer in 2026. And I've made other videos also around agentic AI security. And in almost all of them, the first step I always say is to make an agent. Do not jump into securing or red teaming an agent if you do not even know how to make a simple agent, you know, how agents work, because that way you will understand. You can't just start like pen testing or securing agents without even knowing how they work or how to make a simple agent. And I got a lot of feedback from that. People wanted to know and they said that it's too technical. We don't know coding. We don't know Python or AWS and all that. So I thought, why not make a simple demo of agentic SOC to show you that it is not that complicated. It is not that difficult, especially with the tools that nowadays we have access to. And I wanted to make a simple demo of an agentic SOC. So I play around on with it and I made like this uh, demo, which you can see of an agentic sock. It's not like a fancy demo. I made it around 30 minutes, I would say, but I, I did zero coding, zero coding to make this. And the whole point of this is to show you just how agentic multi agents work in cyber security. And hopefully if I get the time to show you how to risk assess this also, so you get a better idea of agentic AI security. So this is, as you can see, it's a SOC team, right? Well, how have I made this? I have made this with this platform, which is n I, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right, but it's a very cool workflow automation uh, platform. And the thing about it is, it's like, uh, uh, it's integrated very, very heavily with agentic AI. That's the cool thing about it. And you can create some very, very powerful automations without writing even a single line of code. They give you like a, a trial plan. As you can see here, there's eight days left in my trial. So I thought, why not just try to get it done? So I've made this simple SOC. You know, there's a SOC team lead and there's a triaging agent, you know, that assigns like alerts, like uh, the priority to the alerts. There's an investigation agent, which actually goes and checks that, uh, hey, what's going on here? And there's a response agent which updates uh, the the alert and it like puts the alert in Discord also. I, I use Discord. I mean, in, in a company environment, it would be like uh, Microsoft Teams or Slack. But I, I wanted to show you how this works and whether it will work or not, you know. And for the brains behind the agentic stock, I've used this open router. If you're not familiar with open router, it's like a very cool platform. It gives you a unified interface for all these generative AI uh, uh, APIs which are there, you know, instead of creating, getting an API from Anthropic, getting an API from uh, OpenAI, you can just create like a simple API key here, put like $10. I think I just made a simple API key for $10 and I used it for this demo. So I wanted to show you what I'm talking about here. So this, how did I create this architecture? So uh, one thing is I use this one. There's a very good like a Google, uh, like a blog from Google on the dawn of agentic AI in security operations. Everything I'm talking about, I'll put the links below. So they basically talked about how an agentic AI SOC looks and how it works in their environment, you know, triaging investigation response. So I thought, okay, hey, this is really cool. Why don't I try to make this? Of course, it won't be as fancy as the one running in Google, but I thought I'll try it and see uh, how it works. So like I said, I use Anitin. They are not sponsoring this video. I wish they were and they were paying me money, but they're not. <laughs> but the, like I said, the reason being, I wanted to use the platform, which makes me like do it very, very quickly. And two, uh, I didn't have to do any coding. So what happens is I've created a simple Google sheet here like a Google Drive, in, uh, because obviously I don't have access to like a SIM solution here. So basically the events, it's pu pulling the events from here. So like for my name, there is a privilege escalation happening as you can see. And there is an event history, which is for the investigation agent. It's gonna go here and check whether I have a history of uh, like, you know, suspicious activity. So what happens is let's go step by step. It's gonna go there. It's gonna take a look at uh, like a row which has added basically a new alert which has come it will go to this one which is the the lead agent you can see think of it as the orchestrator now uh do you think i could have made this with one agent all of these things instead of making like four agents could i have done it like this yes i could have but with multi-agents within a multi multi-agentic framework it is much easier to create separate agents and give them each of them their own task it is much more efficient and much more like uh what do you call it? the results you see are much more efficient. So like I said, I've connected it to an open, uh, like a open router chat model here. And then for the tools, I've connected it to multiple agents. So what happens is, how, how did I do this? So first of all, let's go step by step. I created this Google Sheets. I have added it here. How do I add these things? You just very simple. You go here and then from here you can add like uh, if I put Google 
sheets here you can see uh, google sheets where the google sheets oh yeah here we go google sheets you can add it here if i want to add an agent it is as simple as just typing an ai agent here yeah that's it and you have look look you have an ai agent here and i can add chat model the memory the tools so i don't need this here let me just delete this save it so it doesn't mess up my thing so let's take a look at so anytime a new google sheet is added a new uh, like a row is added to the google sheet it's gonna go here so what happens here it's gonna take all of these activities i said investigate this agent this is the prompt i've given it okay and this 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 is the meat of it this is the system prompt that i have written this is basically i'm telling him you are a sock shift lead every time you get an alert you these are the agents that are available to you the three agents uh, start by calling the triaging agent see what is the severity once the investigation happens uh call the response agent and like i've given him some like uh restrictions also D don't try to act too smart like uh, don't be too creative be concise be auditable and then like uh, what it does is once this happened it calls the triaging agent the triaging agent is also connected to an open router chat model you can actually connect all of these to the same model it's not an issue so what's the triaging agent about to do the triaging agent very simple i've told it think like a tier one SOC analyst okay you're going to get a single security event containing the source event type details timestamp and i want you to understand what is the severity of this once you understand the severity send an output back okay assign the severity so once it goes back here it's gonna now gonna send it to the investigation agent now the investigation agent what is it gonna do it's gonna take a look at uh basically what the event was it's gonna go into that google sheet and look if i have any history here you see here it's gonna check like for my if he sees me i have a failed login which happened many many months before so it's gonna use this to get a better idea also right and once that is done the main agent is going to call now the response agent and the response agent basically i have told it look if it's like if the severity is high or critical send a discord message to the channel and update the alert across comment field of course if this was an actual event i would connect it with the systems also you know if it was a cloud environment i would connect it to aws so that the user id gets disabled like i said i made it as quick as simple as possible and otherwise if the uh, severity is low just update the excel sheet so here i've told it what you do is you go to the alert sheet and update it here so th th that's pretty much it nothing complicated the whole point of this was to show you that agentic ai is not scary it is not like a uh, rocket science like a person like me was able to create this demo in 30 minutes you can do it also so let's do one thing so i have this event here i've added it basically a privilege escalation happening with my name with my id and in, in the event i also have like a earlier event which had happened so let's see uh what happens let's go first of all i'm going to fetch the event uh, this is like test data so it's going to get so it now you can see here it's gotten my event i'm going to pin this basically pinning it means that it doesn't have to execute every time it just stores this data so this data is pinned and i can use it so now if i you can see here it says one item here you can see the one item so it has one row now so now i can use this to test this whole workflow so if i can execute workflow uh let's see what happens so the SOC team now it's getting this event it's thinking it's calling the triaging agent you can see the triaging agent has sent something back now it's gone to the investigation agent uh it's thinking about it i hope it's thinking correctly okay it's gone back to the SOC team the response agent uh it's thinking now ah i got you, you heard that that was the sound of discord so let's go to our discord channel ah as you can see here potential privilege escalation involving user tamur ijlal key risk privilege escalation detailed monitoring and mr nvvo system configuration for anomalies so it did take a look i wish it had told some like uh about the history also it didn't show anything about the history which i don't like but let's go to the excel sheet uh alerts awesome so you can see oh wait it has actually oh this is cool user tamur is a higher privilege admin with a history of high severity failed login attempts event could indicate put an authorized police escalation. see so you can see here like our actually demo worked let's take a look at this uh event you can go here to the logs and you can see like you can go st you can see actually how it happened see it went to the triage this is the output it sent back then it went to the investigation agent uh this is the output it sent back then it went to the response agent and this is the response that it sent back so let's do like one more check i don't want to be too 
I have another user here also, which is called Bob. So let's do one thing. Let's create another incident and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to delete all of this. Uh, okay. So let's put no, today's date now. I think it's now, right? Yeah. Uh, malware execution. Let's do malware execution. And the user is Bob because Bob already has an event history. He's a normal user. Fail login, impossible travel, two events, right? So malware execution has happened. Okay. So let's go back here. I'm going to tell it to fetch a testament. Okay. Malware execution, as you can see here. Let me pin this. So now it's going to be using this data instead of the previous one. Let's execute it again and see uh, what happens. So again, it's calling the uh, try edging agent. Okay. It sent something back. Now it's gone. Now it's gone to the investigation agent. It's gone back to the SOC team lead agent. Now it should call the response agent. And uh, let's see. Okay. Okay. It put, it sent another message on discord and it has sent something on the uh, Excel sheet also. Okay. Malware execution were potential that could lead to lateral movement, immediate investigation. That's pretty cool. Let's go back to the, this one. Yeah. Uh, malware a low privilege user with suspicious proactivity suggesting by the potential compromise escalation required due to higher risk uh, yeah, that's pretty cool man so i hope you saw now the power of agentic ai at work uh, what i'm going to do is now i'm going to in the next video in the next part of the series i'm going to actually risk assess this sock demo and look at what potential improvements we can also make now I could potentially make this like a webhook API. I wanted to keep it simple because I wanted to show you the events right there and then. I could make this like a webhook. I could add a database here with all the users too. But honestly, Google Sheets works for that because it's not a production environment, right? I haven't published this. Once I publish it in real time, we'll see this because this is a test environment. But I hope you saw just how easily and efficiently I was able to create a simple agentic demo right i did not need to know code i did not need to know any complicated ai underlying like mechanisms i was able to do this this is the power of agentic ai and the power of the platforms that are coming out so that's why it's so important for you to get a running start please do not wait around from cert some certification to come or for some like uh, for your company to start implementing it by that time it will be too late right so i hope this motivated you the things that i've mentioned here i'm going to put them in the uh, comment section also so you can take a look there uh, i want you to try and make this yourself you might run into some issues don't worry try to troubleshoot it yourself uh, uh, and you you learn a lot you don't have to use any and you can use any platform you can use aws trans crew ai whatever works for you but get started today if you want to get a good head start on agentic ai security in 2026 thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video please do like and subscribe to this channel if you found this video useful